Now I'm going to start the reassembly process. Uh, we on the previous video I worked with the transmission, so transmission is now back together, and I need to assemble it. So one of the things to note is those little you see those little tabs, those little bumps, right? Those are going to go inside of the transmission holes in here. So if you're going to hold the transmission. This will go in here, and I'll just click on. That is it. The screws are going to go through the transmission down to this brace. Which are these screws right over here. So I'll just set them in. And I'm going to be using my two millimeter driver. Now I'm holding this screw just to create pressure, but also just so I don't lose it. That's really the only reason why. So I'm going to drive this one in close. And then I'll drive this one all the way and then I'll finish tightening up the other. That is it. Do not over tighten anything. Uh, great. So at this point, I can go ahead and install the motor plate. So notice these two are closer together. That one's farther away. Closer together, farther away. This will simply go here. Now you may or may not have the motor on. I do. If you do not remove the motor and you're putting the same gears on, the same size, you don't have to deal with the mesh. So that's something to keep in mind. Right, so I'm gonna get this one close. I'm not driving it all the way in. And we'll put this here. And it's just these three screws. One of the things that I do like about this car uh, is the, the transmission. The transmission, to be honest, looks like every other two-wheel drive transmission. Uh, but see if I'm going to show you in a bit. If you look at some, like a B61 or anything like that, or even the newer ones, um, I guess I could have compared it to my SE 6.2. Some of the buggies once it was removed. I have to look at the part numbers. Uh, if you know if they are the same, go ahead and put them in the comments. But uh, these look very similar. I mean, this is rear. Well, if I flip it over, that would be front, and then that would just go over, go into the chassis, and rear suspension would just be back here. So it may actually be the same thing, because the internals look identical. Uh, but here we go. We have this here. Now I can go ahead and install the slipper system, which is what I will do. Uh, we're gonna start with this plate. This is the plate that goes underneath. So again, there's a flat side to the shaft. Just match it to the flat side here. If not, it will not go in. And then I'll just drop in all the way. Go ahead and grab your uh, spur gear, and that will go in. Again, I didn't remove this, so I don't have to worry about mesh. And then this plate will just face down. And again, make sure you match the flat spot. Now we'll have the spring, and the spring has to seat right in there. And then we have this portion, that little hat part. Let's see if you can see, there we go. That goes toward the spring, so the spring's gonna go in there. And that is it. Now we can go ahead and install the nut. Nut will go in here. And in order to tighten, we're just gonna hold the gear. And this will just go in and tighten the whole thing. But here we have the assembly. It's just two screws that goes in there. Now we can go and grab everything over here, which looks like a mess, but it'll straighten every. It'll straighten itself out. Now that I have this carcass, uh, you can see. So for the bumper, it's just a long screw. So it's actually just one screw here, one screw here. Rear bumper is going to come out. Uh, you have these four screws here if you want to remove them from the springs. So this is your spring. Uh, the springs can break. Uh, then. You have these screws right here, shock tower. Again, shock tower, I do not recommend aluminum. I'm saying again because I said that with the front shock tower. 
Uh, I do not recommend aluminum shock tires. They bend, and once they bend, that is it. Uh, they're worthless after that because they'll just keep bending even if you straighten them out. Uh, uh, graphite or carbon fiber towers, those are great options. Uh, but here we go. So we have these two screws at the bottom. Now these two screws, these are countersunk screws, but we're going to wait until we install that. And up here, the first screws that I want to place are actually the ones for the shock tower. Uh, and I have not finished with the slipper, which is probably what I should do. Um, let's see, okay, that one goes there, great. Let me go ahead and do the slipper, because that is easier. So a slipper, I'm just holding the gear. Uh, slipper, you can go all the way in, and then just move it back. I'm actually gonna use two fingers for this. <clears throat> and I'm actually not sure where my friend wants it, so I'm just gonna go back a turn and a half. Uh, Let's see, so I'll start here. I'll go, that's half, one, and let's go for the half. There we go. And then we can loosen or tighten it from there, but one and a half tends to be a good starting point. So this will now go right in here. I'm trying to get the wires out of the way. And now that I have the wires out of the way, I can go ahead and set this on top. And then the really long screw is the one that goes in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, the wire was getting in the way. That's what. I push this through. All right, so just so you can see on camera what I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for this part of the transmission. That's where I want this to sit. Uh, but because of those little tabs, let me go ahead and remove it and show you those little tabs. So these little plastic things have to go inside of them. Uh, I'm gonna blame the camera because I'm trying to make sure that I'm in view. There we go. Just one angle, perfect. And I'm just going to install this really long screw, drive it in. Uh, so the screw, it looks like it's all the way in, but it's not. There's about a millimeter there, but that's because it just pushed the plastic out. So once I start tightening this, it's going to pull that other side in, which is what it's doing now. Ah, uh, you can't see because of the camera. Uh, but everything's fine. And that's it. All right, great. Uh, so everything is good. Right back here, it looks, it looks fine, except for this. So now I'm going to just spin it. That will go in here. So now I'm going to grab these two top screws, which are these shorter ones, and those will go in there. I can't really fit my fingers in here. You need baby fingers for this. Uh, so what you should do is put the screw on your driver. Now this one I managed to get in. Just put the screw on the driver and then guide it in. And I'm actually not getting the hole. Uh, oh, I need to push it to the side. That's the reason why. There we go. And... Here we go. Right in there. All right, uh, so those are in there. And now I can install these two screws here from the shock tower, which were the medium size holes. I'll go ahead and place those. 
And remember, these are the front screws of the shock tower. The rear screws are different. Those are those I set over there. So I'm just going to place it on the driver just to guide it in, and that is all. And something else that I'm going to do, might as well, I'll put the cover on. This cover is very important to put on, especially if you're going to be running in dirt, because you can get a lot of small little rocks, sand bits between your gears. And because this is a 48 pitch gear, you will destroy the spur. So you always want to run this cover. Uh, that's one of the differences from drag cars. Drag cars, you'll see them without a cover, but they're generally running 32 or mod one. If they're running 48, you want the cover just in case you get something in there. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Now at this point, I can go ahead and set the link, uh, but before I set the link, I'm gonna try to get this shaft, actually I don't even need to get the shaft in, just need to get the link. So the link, I'm just gonna hold it, I'm gonna put my thumb as close as possible to the top, and I'm just gonna press in, and that is it. You could also use some pliers and stick some pliers in there. Uh, now I'm gonna grab the other side. Now the other side, I already know the arm goes in here, so I need to just press this link inside and then I'll put the shock on. So again, just do that. You can use some pliers. And then the shock is going to go here, but don't forget to put this little cap on. So now that that is on there, go ahead and slide the shock. And now I can use my driver, 5.5 millimeter driver for that 5.5 Nut, and I'm just going to drive it in. Here we go. All right. Now, before you set the arms, now you can always remove the links later. I'm going to put the shafts in here and I'm gonna hold these so that they're in there and they don't slip out. If one of them slips out, that's fine. Just remove a link later. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this block. Now I'm supposed to tighten that first. So go ahead and tighten your C block onto that lower plate. That is it, snug is all you need. And my two pins are already installed there. I could remove them. There's no point. I'm not going to go ahead and remove them. Why remove them? Uh, and I'm just going to put these on the arms. And slide the arms in. And that's one way of doing it. Now, this will go in here. Right in there. But before I do that, notice that this is in the way. I'm just going to tilt this up. And that will give me enough space for me to install my D-block. Now my D-block can go in. And once the D-block is in, I can set this. And here. That D-block for some reason is not going all the way in on one side. So let me just lift this up a little. There we go. And notice that my shafts are still in place. So we are good to go there. Now I can go ahead and place this in here. And at this point, I can go ahead and grab those two countersunk screws and just push them on your head. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish mating everything up on the next video and then That'll be the whole thing, burning up this whole car. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please comment below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,